Hello there. This is a 1033 Lionel transformer. It's a 90 watt transformer, so it is the workhorse of the post war Lionel single train layout. It is a beautiful transformer and rather simple in its design. This one shows sign of severe abuse. One, it doesn't have a power cord, so we're going to have to put a power cord on too. You can see that the securing uh, uh, screws are not just rusted, but it looks like pitting rust. It looks like uh, some water contact there. This is all dirty and abused, so this thing has been stored in awful sp spaces. The uh, binding posts are dirty and dusty, and the, the entire cover is a mess. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to clean up the binding posts. We're going to clean up the cover. We're going to clean up the screws. Put them in some evaporust and get rid of the rust on them. They should still bite nice. Well, pretty good. And then we're going to put a new power cord on. The handles are aftermarket handles, but they're still rather dirty and worn, and the the shine is is off of them. So they came into contact with something that wore off the plastic. You can see how that is not going to get shiny again. I might just put on new handles, but I, I think that using these handles will, will be all right. So I'm going to take these off, and uh, let's see what we have underneath. Uh, ordinarily, when I redo a transformer, I put on a diode in place of the rectifier disc that is on there to uh, help with the, the whistle to sound sharply and crisply and cleanly without hesitation and uh, so that it, sh it whistles with conviction. So here's the, those are going to be cleaned up. Here is the guts of the machine. Here is the, ooh, that looks pretty worn. The uh, rectifier disc looks like it needs to be replaced. That's the, the fast nut that just comes off and pulls that assembly off. This looks like a newer, it's not the original, but a newer circuit breaker. We will not automatically replace that. We'll see how things work. If it doesn't work that well, then we will just simply put in a new th uh, thermal circuit breaker. And uh, But first we gotta test that. You can see the power cord here, the, the wires were all broken and everything. So. This is going to take a little bit of doing. First, let's clean up the casing, and uh, we'll move on from there. This is end of video one, on to okay, video two. Okay, this is video number two. <clears throat> what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the remnant of the original uh, plug, and we're going to put on a, a new plug. I believe that we've already got the ends tin, so it should be very easy to do. We have our soldering iron heated up a bit so just have to take out one take out two that looks good and just it's a rather simple process okay I cleaned out some of the excess solder with this toothpick in the, in the holes. Let's see what we wind up with now. This should go in much better. And let's see. There goes number one. Excellent. And there goes number two. Beautiful. They're in there just right. Let's just bend them nice. They're already tin, so we'll just bend them down a little bit. So now we have a beautifully soldered replacement cord in place. Everything is where it's supposed to be. It's important to make a, a knot at the end of the uh, the cord while it's be, you know inside the case, because there's going to be a little slot on the, from the outside casing over here on the starboard side of the uh, of the transformer. So what we want to do to prevent the cord ever from coming out 
is just to make one simple little knot in the cord so that it will never pass through the small opening uh, in the casing and it'll prevent the joint of in here from ever being pulled out. So that's going to stay like this and then the cord is going to be like that so we can't ever tug these things off of their connections. That takes care of replacing the cord. That was pretty easy. The next thing we're going to do is address the rectifier disc. Now notice we've got resistor cord and a rectifier cord here so we've got to move these out of the way I think to give ourselves room to get at the rectifier disc. What we're going to do is see this gold brass clip up here. We are going to cut that off. We're going to first take off the speed nut and the disc and then we're going to cut off that little brass connector and then uh, we're going to hook up a new uh, diode and uh, connect it there and that should be all there is to it for putting on a new whistle diode for uh, to rectify DC current for the whistle so let me take these two things okay, off. Okay, we've off taken those two wires we off. Back. I've just lifted up the edge of the speed nut. That comes off. The rectifier disc is pretty worn out. We'll take this off. And now we have exposed the plate for the uh, rectifier disc. Now this has to be bent out. You notice it is connected to the fiber plate up here by by this point. If we are going to bend this thing out at the bottom down here to make room for the new diode, it's important that we hold on here so that the stress is, not, is on the plate and not on the fiber platform up here on top. So let's get ourselves a nice pair of pliers. Hold it right there and so that we can bend this up a little bit without overstressing and cracking the plate. Oh, that's going to look fine. That's going to be good. There we go. All righty. That's all we're going to need. Now this has to be cut. So let's get a very thin pair of cutters. Go in here. Almost, and get that in and cut. There we go. Alrighty, all of this now should come free. Look at now. Look at what we have. This is all gone. We've got the rectifier disc. We've got the speed nut, and we've got the rubber spacer, the washer, and the clip. So we're in good shape now to put on the new diode. Now what has to happen with this diode is that this end has to be bent at a right angle. So let's take a, a pair of long nose pliers that's a little bit heavier than the little ones and just bend this down Add a right gently and slowly. We don't want to overstrain it. There we go. There, that's perfect. All right, we're going to take off the nuts. You'll see how all this goes together in, in, in a minute. So now we have this part of the diode is going to go up here in the front, this washer and the nut is going to go in the back. And then we'll just tighten the stuff up. Now, the, I have found that the easiest way of doing this 
is to take the nut and the big washer, position them together, and just press them up against the, the back of the circular opening in the uh, rectifier plate, and then stick the diode on top of that. So that makes it a little bit easier in the long run. If these two are lined up well, then all I got to do is push that nut in there just so that it all lines up. And this comes in and just screws in. All right, I can feel it up against my, my finger, so we're pretty good. Hold that in place and you can just screw this in and tighten it. All right, we're, we're almost home free on that. Actually, that's pretty darn tight. I might not need a whole lot more effort than that, but I think I will. What we can do, you see how through here, let's get a closer look if we can. There's this the, the, the little nut and the washer holding in from that side and this side. This I want twisted a little bit more over here. So I'm going to take... This is my 7 16th wrench. I'm going to move this just a little bit tighter this way. Bring it on here. Once more. Tough to find purchase in here now. There we go. Want to get that in position. There we go. That's nice in position so that it's going to line up easily with this connecting point here. This has this is my connecting point. Right there, I'm going to run a wire from here to there. And then we are in good shape. Then I will reconnect the resistance wire and the uh, rectifier wire over there. Very good, very good, very good. We're in very good shape right now. So I'm going to cut a small piece of wire to connect to these two pieces and then solder them in. When, and after I've got these two points soldered in, and then uh, I'll put these back together, and then let's see how the whistle blows, okay? I'll be back to you when that soldering is done.